Hello everyone. Thanks for watching this video. In this video, today we are going to understand how to copy one array into the second array. Suppose that we will be getting this array which is now called old array from user. Okay. And we have to create a new array. Okay and copy the same element into the new array okay yeah so let's have one more main program here we need to create the our user input so this is user input okay so which is called integer type In integer type, uh, this bracket is wrong, so array bracket will be like that, okay. And let's create the method dot get copy, okay. So in this method we are going to pass array as a integer array as a argument. We have to create the method here. We create it. Okay. Now copy the user input into the our local variable input. Okay. So let's print print this user input. There is another API which will help you to print arrays dot to string and here you need to pass the input. And if you run this one, you will get the same array. You see, same array. This is the API available in array class arrays, which is available in utils. Okay, fine. Now let's have one scan for the input array. In this scan, we are going to copy this input into the new array okay so new array equal to new int size will be 10 missing okay so we are very sure that we are copying this element into the new array so the size will be as per the input array input array size okay. good so what we are going to do is in new array we are going to assign the value of input array okay once done then we are going to print also so how we are going to print we will be using same arrays class which is available in util package and you have to pass this as a argument okay so now run this one we are getting same out okay so for tracking purpose old array this is our old array and this is new array my intention for this program to tell you two things one thing is arrays dot two string where you can pass input no need to write one for loop this will exactly convert 
exactly print your array second is how you are going to define the new array having this length as a dynamic and third array how you are going to copy one array element into the another array if you print now you will be get to know old array is this one sorry old array is this one and new array is this one this is what we are expecting as a output okay yeah thanks for watching this video